Evening. My lady. Still reading. I've taken a break. But yes, I've had to keep it. This is not fun. Whoa, now, easy, easy. It's the reason we're living. Easy. The only thing that makes me happy. So easy. The only thing that makes you happy is you know, have some Go easy, home. girl. I never thought of it quite like Whoa, that. Whoa, now, Eve. You never read? Shh, girl. No, I never fancied it. But you can. Well, I can. Okay, girl. I'm just not chosen to. How are you doing? How you think I'm doing? I'm sorry. Just let me know if there's anything I can do. You ain't supposed to be here. I said go. go. I ain't here to cause trouble. Whoa, easy.
Easy now. Easy, girl. I'm nearly there.
easy. Let's go, girl. Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guards, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And where are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. 
Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. The train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. Let's go. Get this thing rolling. They see this block of the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. From what folks say, eh? you had your feet up the whole time playing sick and fondling that new scar that you're gonna buy at breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gutter sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. They're left here. Towards roads. So, we block the tracks with the wagon, then jump them. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John... Secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Shoot your mouth, and get a bullet back. So, what are you doing? I'll run point. Keep an eye out for outriders and the law. Help you three where I can. All right for some. <laughs> Cherry picking, I call that. We'll be out in the middle of nowhere, so it'll take a while for any word to get to the law. But we should still move quick. Oi, oi, Scarface. Oh, shut up, please. We're close, Marston. We're at the railroad. Just carry on a bit further. the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it on the tracks. Whoa, whoa. This is Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire. Yeah. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll still or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving.
I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us on there. All right, hey, get on that train! Bastard. All yours, Captain. Go on ahead. Everybody stay calm and sure. everybody will get shot. Go! Everything you got! Money! Valuable! There you go. Let's make this quick, people! Come on! We ain't leaving until this bag's full! Stop it! Don't get for your money? I nothing ain't else. got nothing. You wanna have me a little chat you. with Romeo and Juliet here? Don't help me, please! This is oh, unnecessary. What's the problem here? Please, please stop! Don't do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay. Okay. In the bag, God everything you got. Pay me what you got, Don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. Getting robbed, Mr. Give me everything you got. I want to count to three. One. Two. God damn it. Sick is better than dead, lady. And I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says, so this can be over. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Sir Robert. Let's make this quick. You boys need me? No. You go ahead and you look sure for the baggage that? car. You Which show I this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here. Quick, come on! Everything you got. Stop it, so Money, valuables. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend, then. Don't make me hurt, but in bitch. Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. Please, I'm not a bad man. Empty your pockets, mister, and you can be on your way. Please, please. You're gonna need don't all do your it. money, my friend. You got a big problem. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay. None of you folks move a muscle. You hear me? What is it? You all right? Build the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? Twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Oh. Oh. I'm going to have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. I don't. Tennis rackets in there. Hush, bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know. That's what's worrying me. Some decent stuff. You nearly done? How's it looking in there? Let's go. We'll take that. Come on, we should get out of here. These folks are rich, all right. We should probably be going now. We're looking good in here. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. All right, in that case, we're fighting. Horst Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. 
goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more than torn enough. Damn my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Clap. Get out of here! Come on! We need to move now! Ah! 
Fun boys, real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Hold on now!
damn drunk horse. Couldn't pay no attention. You there? Yeah. Would you watch my cargo here while I go find someone to deal with this? I guess. Thank you, sir. Boss gonna be sore about this tomorrow. <laughs> I won't stop you. Pay good money for what? It's probably just a busted wagon. And they're worth no more. I think maybe you should be sleeping this off. Won't you watch the wagon like I asked? Come on, girl. Yeah.
make no difference. Prison transport, keep clear. This isn't right. Let me out of here. It weren't my fault. I don't deserve to be locked up. Like we haven't heard that before. Come on, please. Let me out of here. Oh, just shut up. Shut up. Yeah. It's me, Arthur. Welcome back, Arthur. my lungs and well I'll be dead but before that I'll be fine again <laughs> <laughs> yeah I hope so you're stalking me too Arthur you getting crazy Dutch well I've always been crazy Arthur you know that you are starting to unnerve me friend I don't, I don't think you want me any more unnerved than I already am I want you to know that. I think I caught you at a bad time. Just don't play games, Arthur. I ain't. Morning, Arthur. Always good to see you. Morning. Yeah, you are a sad. Look at those clothes. You, huh? <gasps> I'm sorry. I... It's okay, Ma. I ain't much of a mother. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll, I'll get some money and get you some new ones. How you holding up? Good. What's the spirit? This stew is decidedly lacking on decent meat, Mr. Morgan. Sure. Might as well make some money off it. Just make sure it goes into the pot and not your pocket. Can't wait to taste this. Good job, Mr. Morgan. I'm very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. Thanks, Mr. Pearson. Hi there.
about going back to Hello. Mexico? Hello. Okay. now. So, we did pretty well out of that course. train job. I'd like to go there one day. It all day. showed up real fast. Too fast? It sure seemed that way to me. But anyway, we made it out. Got some provisions there, do you, Arthur? Uh-huh, morning. Mind yourself, Susan. How does it feel losing to a young whippersnapper like me? Good job, Arthur. You know, it's not too late to repent, my Mexican friend. Oh, well, in that case, uh, I'm sure there's priests who will happily take your confessions. You always do. Morning there, yeah, Arthur. Morning. Oh, hey. I messed up in black water. So up now. Okay then, girl.
easy. You're okay. <laughs> Scoot, girl. Come on. <laughs> How are you? Good. Thanks again for taking Jack fishing. Sure, not a problem. <laughs> well, I'm sure you got things to do. going on out here, Arthur? Good. Three innocent lives, and for that, the law demands that you shall pay with your own. Do you have any last words before you meet your judgment? Yeah, I wish I could kill them all over again. I love you, baby. Be good, son. Get him. your horse. Got some room in the stable here. I'll give you a fair price. 
Sorry, but without the papers, I can't pay you full price. That's a good choice. High quality. I had a drunk feller try and steal a saddle the other day. Thought it would fit under a shirt, the idiot. You know, a horse can tell when you're using a cheaper saddle.
Welcome. Got everything you need. Have a look. Food kept airtight or best thing to have on hand. You like, I can wrap that up for you. Righty. Let's see what you're selling. <laughs> Don't really need it, but why not? Been a pleasure doing business with you. No need to check on me, mister. Hello I'm there. still here. You might be a bloodthirsty monster, Mr. Swan, but I kind of got a soft spot for you. If that soft spot don't extend to breaking me out of this joint, well, you know what you can do with it? <laughs> Fair enough. I suggest you hit the road. I'm with you. He can't take us both. You will comply with my demands. Final warning. Okay, I figure you know how this goes. No need for a mess. Help me! Hands up! Nothing sudden. If you don't raise your hands, I will put you to God damn it! It's gonna be happening!
Nice boy.
Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen trying to protect his riding clothes. I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow, lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good view of the trail. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you. I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Driscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here anyway? Oh, you know how it is. A few loose ends. Drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I seen you come full undone more than once now, and you only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. This ridge. Oh. They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. <clears throat> Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah.
bitches. I'll leave you in the dust. I'm hoping there won't be a next time. <laughs> you don't mean... Yeah! Stay luck! Come on, boy! Mm. Here. Find new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you. That's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it? Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tail. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Dutch can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done, same as you. Gets things done? You'd be wearing a California collar now if I hadn't broken you out of jail. And I have expressed my gratitude, have I not? It's done. Main thing now is getting this haul back in one piece. Is it 
every job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies. Since when? Do you have a problem killing O'Driscoll's? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach, then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors. On account of... There. This little mess. Come on! That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth it. All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Now get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun! Imagine this is here by accident.
fascinating. It's a westerly, so... Or is it an easterly? We're fine. We're fine. Hello again. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you, sir? Uh, Morgan. Mr. Morgan. I'm sorry, my... My nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. No, I hope not. What you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves? Well, you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. I thought I'd be safe. Given the wind. Yeah, sure. If you managed to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. Well, to me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than...
Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not fine on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great fans of man. Don't blame them. Me neither. Hey, shh. Here's one. Looks like we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. You don't need to aim at them. Good boys. Hungry boys. Come on. Stay back, stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. Magnificent creatures. You've provoked them, Mr. Morton. Hell! They ain't. from the door. Help. Come on. Snap out of it. You're safe. No, no, no! My whole futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. What a way to literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? <laughs> well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well, I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude. But no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. I just... Taking this equipment, if only my hands weren't shaking quite so much. First I was scared of the wolves, and now it's hydrophobia. Hydrophobia phobia. The only trophy I need is a photograph, and I hope it catches on. some time working on the mechanism. Good day to you, sir, and Godspeed. <laughs> You're a collector of pelts. Hmm. I hope only in cases of self-defense. Don't worry about me. Lightning doesn't strike in the same place, and neither do wolves. <laughs>
This here's a private financial matter, so why don't you keep right along? This here's ours! Ah! Easy, easy. <laughs> Go easy, boy. See if this safe is worth the effort.
Be with you momentarily. How can one crook raise so much hell? Hello, how can I help? It's all handled. We'll send word out to Lemoyne. Liberty is worth every penny. Good day to you. Well, look what shameless dog just crawled back into town. Yeah, okay, boy. Let's go, boy. We don't need more trouble from you here. Gentlemen, you left this town a pile of crap last time. Y'all doing all right? All the best now. So long, man. Couple of mean looking bounty hunters blew through here not too long ago. Must be stupid or crazy showing your face in this town again. How to stare that feller down. <laughs> Ain't you done enough harm here? So, feeling better? How's your scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about, or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it.
Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. Hello? I already don't like how this is going. Gun store? Yep. Can you, uh, head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. Oh, well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. I'm gonna have to take this on credit. Uh, well, no, wait, we ain't even discussed terms. Or I can take it in a way that ain't so polite. Okay, okay, fine, you can uh, pay me later. Sure. Let's go. <laughs> Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. I had a run-in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run-in. I've had a run-in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place.
So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collecting on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. Okay, I think that's them over there. The one now? Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. Go on, give them a warning shot. Something close enough to make them cut and run. Well, looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. That spooked him, all right. All right, let's go round him up. Okay, boy. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard could it be? Now I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. go a lot faster if you shut up, Marston. Whoa, whoa! All right, I think we got them all. Let's head to town. You know what? Marston, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way, trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. Hey! All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. There you go. 
go. Close her up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here. I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say, you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure, I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as, I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying, but we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Okay, boy. Thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. <sighs> Thanks for all the help with this. <laughs> can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, we never really was. Whoa. Come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey. Not everything, but now in the end, you, sir. I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never been a man for compromises, and I fear at my age I am too old to change. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, me, Poe. Where have you been? Orfkin, Marston's thing. Good. And? 
We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out what here the now! Hell? That you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning a yarn, when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a I move. Got why not? Do you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done. Now get out here now. Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man? For the sins of another who wants to be the Messiah. Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me.
sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> Alright. I better get out of here. It's all right, boy. Long boy.
Just get this off you. Keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Oh, that'd be nice. Join the commune. Hell, we stop when we find some place sensible. You seem to be enjoying sensible. wearing all that blood. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low. Turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Hey, Arthur. Hey, Bill. So, we moving? Yeah. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Sure, this can wait. You meant now, Arthur.
So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. And fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons and better paid bounty hunters, I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah, they've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one, which guarantees even more trouble. I think that must be it up ahead. The old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Yeah! Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any... Shoot first, debate second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. I'm being careful. It's okay. It's okay. Come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? M men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? 
It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. Let's go, boy. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. I think this is the right way. Give me a second. Okay, looks like they go down this way. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch in. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Hold up. Let me check this. Look, they go along the shore there. I see them. Now, I was saying, bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, uh, that kid, it's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Huh? He reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him, Arthur? Oh, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young. A long while. Uh, year. Wait a second. Just want to look closer here. Ah, uh, they continue on that trail ahead of us. Good eyes, Arthur. Let's keep on him. So you was just talking about something? He did? And we was... family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Hold. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. this guy I don't know but you know something this is a better camp spot than back there much easier to defend maybe hey this looks like our feather Charles quick cut him free and let's get out of here you got your knife there I see three coming in this way. What the hell do you think you're doing?
get them untied, and I'll see what they've left behind for us. Sie sind alle weg. Hier drüben. It's okay. We're getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Here you wait there a second. Charles. Go find Dutch, get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. What were you saying before? All right, come on. I'll take you back to your family. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Also soll ich mitkommen? Bring sie mich hin. What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Uh, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Oh. Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! Beinahe wär's so gewesen. Meine Lieblinge. Meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar. Vamos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. 
<sighs> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Morning. So, what do you think of this place? Not bad. Nice to be by the water. Yeah, it'll do for now. Don't go too close to the water here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Good boy. You all right? Yeah, I like this spot. How you doing, It's a shame friend? we never robbed that bank in Valentine, <laughs> um, though. Yeah, it's funny. Guess it is. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way now of course there's gonna be casualties we're thieves in a world that don't want us no more we are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts now i'll give you that but come on we got the day it's nice out old hosea says that there's a trick around here i reckon it's full of fit Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good along, old Dutch. <laughs> Always green crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fishing. All right, gentlemen. Let me show you how it's done. Don't think you're getting out of this, Arthur. Come on, boy. Coming past. Okay, go. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago, but what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us, where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, 
But I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Hold. Easy. Oh. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> ah. For you. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool, but he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train! Don't let them get away! Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Hey, settle down. Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Hey, cut that out. Up, David. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No! Did I not say that? You said plenty. What is that all about? Look at you two fellas all cuddled up! Ha <laughs> ha! Idiot! Now get after the others, come on! Will you stop that? The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. Hey, stop that. Yep. You need to get alongside it. What do you think you're doing? Get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. You got bastards. I didn't do nothing. That's enough. Damn it. I'm coming for 
for you next. I'm gonna ride ahead and stop the train. It's just us then, lawman. Come here. Do we need to bother? Let me go. Can't do that. I think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir, I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Oh, Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. This has nothing to do with me. We're gonna bear left here. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? 
Hey, fellas. Chop, chop. Don't just leave them slumped on there for the whole town to see. Just bring them here. <clears throat> Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone, sadly, to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Now, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Gray's, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, and falling out of rebel gold, and marrying cousins, or not marrying. And Arthur, that's... Jose, you start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these brake weights. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Don't think too hard. Uh, I'll need to relax someplace. Fair enough. It looks like it's you and me, old man. <laughs>